A huge taste of football fever kicked off in Hamilton today. With just three months to go before the city hosts this year's Grey Cup game, organizers have announced plans for events leading up to and around November's big game. Al Sweeney has that story. Let the countdown begin. That countdown is to Grey Cup 2023 at Tim Hortons Field, with the head of the CFL saying it'll end a remarkable season for the league, with more and more fans every week. We are a big deal, and Canadians love the Canadian Football League. Football fans around the world love the Canadian Football League. Because of COVID, it worked out that Hamilton hosted the Grey Cup in 2021 and is in the unusual position of hosting it again two years later. Built in the hammer, well, what, is that? What, what, what does that mean? Well, to us it means bringing together the best parts of the modern fabric of Hamilton. The logo is the Grey Cup over a hammer. And the days leading up to the game will include events like Fan Central on James Street North, closed to traffic with music and food. The Canadian Forces Fan Zone with football activities. The Ticats Tigertown event for fans, team parties and concerts, a cheerleading extravaganza, and more. We get to showcase our community in uh, ways that, uh, uh, that I don't even think we can even grasp. The organizers also announced that Niagara Falls is going to be part of the event. The CFL awards dinner for players will be held in the falls, and there will be free shuttle buses between Niagara Falls and Hamilton for football fans. We're going to connect the hammer with Niagara Falls and we're going to expand the buffet. So we're going to still have the meat and the potatoes here. We're going to have the dessert in Niagara Falls. I think it's a great way to extend the impact of the Grey Cup over and above Hamilton, which is going to be massive. One of the features of this year's Grey Cup festivities is going to be Santa Claus. The organizers have timed the Santa Claus Parade for Saturday, November 18th, than the Grey Cup on Sunday the 19th. It brings, frankly, more people in our community together, which is what this Grey Cup's really about, is, you know, you could be interested in what's going on with Grey Cup, you could be interested in just taking part in the Santa Claus Parade. Bringing those two things together just creates a bigger community celebration. And even though the Tiger Cats are looking like a long shot, owner Bob Young says don't count them out for the Grey Cup yet. No reason why we can't be in this game, and I'm looking forward to it when we do get there. The organizers are not saying who's going to be in the Grey Cup halftime show. That's still to come. Al Sweeney, CHH News.